Hello, I am Atai from Robros East. This is episode 4 of our programming series. Today we'll be starting on an XY coordinate system. Our robot tracks its current XY position constantly. We call the my block that does this the tracker, which is right here. It does this by creating a hypothetical graph, and we can use specialized my blocks, such as what we call new move XY, to move to certain points on that graph with high accuracy. No matter where it is, it knows exactly where according to this graph. We will be going through how to make this tracker in later episodes. So, if we assume that this red spot is 0, 0, and we want to get to the two squares and back, then we can measure the distance along the x and y axes to find what coordinates to plug into the move xy block. In this case, we measured it to be 38 on the y for both of them, and plus or minus on the x. So now I have to create this in, the pro in our program. At the beginning, we have this little initialization thing, which we'll teach you how to do in the future. So what we really want to do is look at these last three blocks, which are new move x, y. So all we have to do is plug in the x and y values into these blocks. In this case, for the first, I need to go to 38, 9 for the first square, negative 9, 38 for the second square, and then 0, 0 just to get back to base. So, let's see this in action. So, as you can see, this robot is incredibly accurate and it can get to the correct corners of the triangle every time and it comes back perfectly to its starting position. So, essentially, what this means is we take the board here and then we add a grid, a grid to it and it splits up into a lot of different squares. Then the bottom left corner of the grid, which is right here, is 0, 0, meaning 0 on the x and 0 on the y axes. Our grid here is drawn in centimeters, uh, not to scale to the mat. And all we have to do is give the robot a coordinate to go to, and it figures out the angle and distance needed to go that from where it is. For example, if the robot is at 0, 0, and we tell it go to 8, 6, then it will figure out the angle and the distance needed to go there and draw a hypothetical line and move along it. So today we're going to be going through the part of how far the robot needs to move. So essentially the distance from this point to this point. And this is done through something called Pythagoras' theorem. And it, it's just the logic behind the movement, not the movement itself. So in a right angled triangle, with sides A, B, and C, here, here, and here, where C is always the diagonal, then A squared plus B squared always equals C squared. And what that means is that the root of A squared plus B squared, which is these two lines, so the square root of this squared plus this squared, will give us the distance of this line. And that's also how far we want the robot to go. So, for instance, in this triangle, we have two sides, 6 and 8, uh, but we don't know the distance of this line. So, what you can do is you can get 6 squared, which is 36, plus 8 squared, which is 64, is equal to 100, and the square root of 100 is 10. So, that means that distance between these two points is 10. Yeah, so the reason this also works on the grid um, is because whatever line we make it go, it will be either moving up or down the grid, which is the y-axis, or left to right, which is the x-axis. So if we say the distance that the robot has traveled along the x-axis is a, and the distance the robot has traveled along the y-axis is b, we can figure out how far it needs to get from its current position to the 100 position just using grid coordinates instead of lengths, uh, instead of triangle side lengths. Okay, so now what you have to do is you have to create two variables, one called x last and one called y last. And from there, you need to read from both of these into an advanced maths block. From here, you want to put x last into a and y last into c. 
and type in the following formula. What you have to do is you have to do square root of a minus b times a minus b plus c minus d times c minus d. And so what this is going to do is it's essentially just Pythagoras. So b is going to be the x that you want to go to and d is going to be the y that you want to go to. And so what it does is it finds the difference between them, or which is pretty much the distance of one side, and the difference between the y, so the different distance of the other side, and it just does Pythagoras on those to get the uh, wanted distance. So now what you want to do is you want to select these three blocks, and... So in my block, we're going to have two inputs and one output. The first input will be wanted x, and the second input would be wanted y, and the output should be called wanted distance. As for the icons, we're just going to go with x, y, and the arrow sign. And we're going to keep the uh, regular default my book icon. And now what you want to do is you want to call it wanted distance and click finish. And so once you're in the my book, you want to put the wanted x input into b and the wanted y input into d, and then take the result and put it into the output. And so there you go, you've got your wanted distance my block, which is the first step into cre the creation of your xy coordinate system. So thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and feel free to leave any comments or questions. See you next time.